James and James, we started uh, up in a garage in Rogers uh, back in 2011. I had um, been working uh, at a digital agency in town, um, left there to pursue um, a job in Oklahoma City, ended up not liking that job, moved back to Northwest Arkansas because I loved it here so much, uh, but then found myself needing uh, a, a employment. And, um, and around that time, uh, the website Pinterest first started coming to popularity. And having been in digital marketing, I was always really interested in new sites that were coming out and how they could be used by marketers. So I went on to Pinterest, was looking at it, and noticed that a lot of the women that were using the site were pinning um, really um, solid-looking, simplistic, wooden pieces of furniture. And having had just moved and gone to furniture stores, I knew that what they were pinning was really hard to, it was really hard to find that look in stores at the time. Uh, and so I thought, you know, maybe I'll just go and buy, buy some wood, buy a saw, um, build a coffee table that looks like what you know people are looking for on Pinterest but can't find in store, uh, and put it on Facebook, Craigslist, just get it out there and see maybe if I could sell it, make a little bit of money, um, and do a couple of those until I could find you know full time employment again. Um, so bought some wood, bought a saw, went in the garage of the house I was renting with two other guys, and uh, tried to build a coffee table. Um, it was harder than I thought because I didn't realize that. The four-inch uh, saw wouldn't cut through the four-inch leg. It only go halfway through, and it needed to be a straight cut. And I'm trying to, I was like, this is the dumbest idea I've ever had. I've wasted this money on this wood. Um, but finished it, um, put it online, and people would, uh, would respond to the Craigslist ad and say, hey, I'm looking for you know, a bench or a coffee table. Can you, know, can you make this style or that style? And um, I didn't have any woodworking experience, but I really needed the money uh, to pay rent and, and buy food and things like that. So the answer was, yeah, of course. And then I'd get online and watch YouTube videos and Google and try to figure out how to, you know, how to make it. And just kind of started adding pieces as people would request stuff. And after about a month, a, um, a friend of mine from college, also named James, reached out and said, hey, I like what you're doing. Can I come build with you? And so he came. We started splitting the cost of what the materials and, the, and splitting what we uh, we'd sell it for. And then uh, we started hiring friends to help on the weekends and eventually moved out of the garage. And that's really how it all uh, started at the beginning. Luckily, you know, we've been able to grow a lot since then. And uh, now I can uh, and hire carpenters that do have this experience. And we've got people working for us that are way smarter uh, than either of us ever were as far as, as woodworking and carpentry. And they bring a lot to the table. I mean, that's able to help us expand into different products that we would have never been able to figure out how to build on our own. So it just started off with, with the two Jameses in the garage. Um, now we've got about 20 full-time employees here in Northwest Arkansas. And, and one of the ways we've been able to grow that makes us really different than a lot of furniture stores is that most furniture stores, they service a market. So they're, they're the ones that carry X furniture brand in that market, and they have an exclusivity on it, and they just do last, um, last mile delivery to their delivery area. We actually sell most of our furniture out of the state of Arkansas. Um, so uh, people find us online, and then we run um, delivery routes all across the country uh, where we take orders and we say, okay, we're going to be in Chicago in, you know, on this date. Go ahead and put your orders in, and we charge everybody just a little bit for delivery, uh, and those delivery costs cover the cost of us driving the furniture up there, delivering it straight to the customer's home, whether they're in Chicago or New York or Atlanta, um, and enables us to get it there way cheaper than if we had to create it and ship it like an LTL truck. Um, and so because of that, we do most of our business leaving Arkansas, and most of it leaves on our truck with our employees who deliver it to the customers' homes um, across the country. So it's a really different model from the way you're supposed to sell furniture. Um, and even our local customers, they still just find us through our website and online, and then they're surprised that we have a store here, and they just thought that we were an online uh, retailer. And essentially a retailer, a manufacturer, and a distributor. Um, and we, there are definitely cities that we don't get to with our truck, and we do offer um, curbside, like LTL, shipment with those, but that's uh, the minority of our customers. Most of them um, get a delivery um, with our crew, no, no matter where they're at in the country. And that's one of the benefits of, of having zero experience in woodworking or in furniture retail, is we didn't know what the rules were. We didn't know what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do. And for us, it was, hey, we're selling a lot of furniture in Northwest Arkansas, there's a lot more people in Dallas. What if we advertise like we're advertising online in Dallas and we just pick a date and we charge everybody a little bit for delivery and we'll rent a U-Haul, we'll put the furniture in there, we'll build it all, put the furniture in there, we'll drive it down to Dallas and deliver it. And it worked. And then it was like, well, Austin, they've got a lot of people and that's just you know th about three more hours after that. What if we do that? And then, then we added Houston, then we added San Antonio, and, uh, and then we added 
you know, most of the cities that we can get to uh, via truck. And so it's a lot better experience to have, you know, our employees who are vested in our company that know what we do, um, know how to treat our customers going into the customer's home in North Carolina and delivering the piece of furniture. Over the years, we've gone through several versions of the trailer, and now the one that we have, we're actually able to build the furniture, put it, uh, load it safely onto the truck without any packaging or padding. Um, we have a system that, that carries the, the furniture so that they can just be pulled out, brought inside, and assembled. So we've actually reduced packaging costs, packaging waste, um, and it enables us to keep our costs a lot lower. Unless they heard about us from somebody else or a repeat customer, um, they're finding us online. Um, what, we're, what we're hearing is that the most of our sales come from either repeat customers, customers that bought a bed from us and are now ready to buy a table or need some chairs or whatnot, or it's word of mouth people, somebody that you know their friend bought a table from us and they were over at their house and you know, where'd you get this at? And they share the story. Um, or, or it's um, Facebook, Facebook ads, we do a lot of Facebook spending. Um, or it's um, organic Google searches, people that were searching for, you know, farmhouse table or craftsman table or whatever come across our site. Um, so the vast, vast majority of our sales, both locally and across our delivery cities, come to us um, through our website. We have, in each market that we go to, we tend to have some micro competitors pop up and, and build furniture there. Um, but I'm not aware of anybody that does things the way that we do them to the scale um, that we do them. Fortunately for us, we most of the time, we have a few, few people that have that experience and, and really know that well, but most of our hires in the wood shop, we prefer bringing in people that don't have the woodworking experience. Because we do things so different, um, we find we have to untrain things if we bring in people that already have preconceived notions of how things are supposed to have spray finish and things like that. And we do things a lot more the old fashioned way with brushes and things. Um, and so most of the time when we hire in the wood shop, we hire people that enjoy that type of activity but don't necessarily have that skill set. And so we hire for the right type of person and then it's really easy for us to, to train them and get them up to speed from there. Um, we try to source our wood as, as locally as possible. So most of it comes from um, mills within our area. Um, and that's just because A, we want to support our local community, B, the wood's cheaper when it comes from closer to, uh, to us. Uh, and we're also in a really great geographical um, location for wood. We've got a lot of the woods we come, we use come just from just south of us or just north of us. Um, and so most of it we source you know, as, as, as local as we possibly can. Fortunately for me, um, uh, my two business partners are both web developers. So um, about two years into the business, the other James sold us half of the business. Uh, and the, the individuals that bought it uh, were both web developers that I had worked with at a previous company. And so uh, I'm able to go to them. They uh, do most of the, the web development um, on the site. And then a lot of it is, has like content management systems in place so that our team that's not developers can go in and change things and move products around and whatnot. Um, right now we're doing a big shift on our, on our website that we're seeing a lot of really good results from where we're, you know, I think before um, our mentality was really to, to be the hero and say, hey, look what we do and look what our company does. And we've shifted the messaging recently to really make our customer the hero and to position James and James as a guide. So uh, we come in and we say, look, you know, we, we, know, we understand why you're, why you're buying a dining table. It's not because you want a piece of furniture. It's because you want a place for your family to gather and to make memories and to, you know, to have grandparents over and, and, and enjoy life. Um, and you're looking for something that's going to hold up. And, that, and you, you know, a lot of our customers, they want something that's a little different than what you can find in stores. And so we position the messaging on our website um, to really um, show our customers that we empathize um, with what the problems are that they're trying to solve and to show them that we have the authority um, to help them through that. So if you go to our site, a lot of the messaging isn't you know, about us or buy a table. It's, hey, let us help you figure out what size is going to work best for you. Let us help you figure out what color is going to work best in your space. And so you go to the site, you're prompted, you can get a PDF that walks you through the five things that make or break a great dining room. Or you can click on the blog link that takes you to how do you pick the right size space for your, the right size table for your space. Um, things like that, and, um, and we're seeing really great results from that. People are reaching out to us, asking us questions, um, and really seeing us as not just the person that's going to build their table, but the person that's going to help them you know, solve this problem and bring this vision that they have for their family to life.